So let's go ahead and go to one of the next situations that you're likely to see on the SAT that perhaps you won't be ready for without this help that we're offering to you, margin of error. So what does it mean? How can we apply the fact that the margin of error is plus or minus 1.5%? And of course, when you do this video or any similar video, you can always pause when you see the question, try it on your own, and then compare your answer to the answer in the video. So we have 25,000 marbles, and the estimate is that 7% of them are red. So what's 7% of 25,000? It's 1,750. Okay, now the margin of error is plus or minus 1%. So what if it were plus 1.5%, that would be 8.5%, 0 0.085. Or if it were minus 1.5%, it would be 5.5%, 0 0.055. So we could have gotten the numbers that were 5.5% of 25,000. So like in other words, we have the 7%, but that 7% can be taken down by one and a half percent and it can be taken up by one and a half percent because that's the margin of error. It says we're not sure that it's exactly 7%. It could be off by up to 1.5%. So what's 5.5% of 25,000? That's 25,000 times 0 0.055, which is 1,375. And that'll be our answer because that's the smallest possible number of red marbles. But just for a deeper understanding, what's 8.5% of 25,000? It's 2,125. So the estimate says that there will be 1,750 marbles, but because of the margin error of error, it could be as low as 1,375 or as high as 2,125. And so the answer says, what's the smallest possible number of red marbles? And the answer is the smallest number within that range, 1,375.